What is up guys, Toss a coin here, and today I want to talk about Fenris armor, the movement speed of armor, and some possible alternatives to using the Fenris armor. In my best armor video, many of you commented about how much you love the Fenris armor and how much faster it is versus the other armors. So I wanted to try just that. Right here, you can see the track I made. It is 90 meters long. Each of these stone blocks shows one meter. So I'm gonna be testing all of the armors, racing them more or less over a distance of 90 meters. I tried making the track a fairly large distance so that we could see just how much of a gap the Fenris armor is gonna create versus the other armors. So let's get right into the test. I did my best to start each one at the exact same time. There's probably gonna be some small discrepancies, but it shouldn't be large enough to matter. This first set of tests is just the armor, no weapons included, just seeing how fast I can get from one end to the other. I ran each armor three times and you are watching the fastest run from each of the armors. So here are the results of each of the armors in their sprint over the 90 meters. Fenris is an obvious first and full padded was an obvious last. However, I am surprised at how little of a difference there is between Fenris and no armor, seeing as how Fenris is only a little under 3 seconds faster than no armor. With this in mind, I'd like to show y'all another combination of armor. On your screen, we got a Carpus helmet, root chest, and the Fenris greaves. The Carpus helmet is interchangeable with the padded helmet, it's just a difference of two armor. I'm going to refer to this combo as just mixed armor to save time. I think mixed armor is an alternative that Fenris players should be considering, and also anybody who thought that the padded root chest combo was just a little too slow. Not counting the cape, mixed armor has 62 armor, and Fenris not counting the cape has 48 armor. That is a 14 armor difference, not to mention the mixed armor has pierce resistance. And we have our results pulled back up. I added the mixed armor to the list, and you can see where it stacks up against everything. Fully armored, and it's still just a tad bit faster than having no armor on at all. But just for the sake of being thorough, I decided to also test speeds with weapons. For this test, I chose not to include no armor or root just because the mixed armor set brings a lot of benefits of those armor types, but without the drawbacks. I did use the Ekthir buff for the padded root and the padded test just so I wouldn't run out of stamina because I knew I was really cutting it close with those armors. So these are the results for weapons, and as you can see, the Fenris armor is just a tad bit quicker. However, I'm not sure if being 3 seconds faster is going to be worth how much less protection you have. And that leads me to what I want to show you guys next. I'm going to be testing how strong each of the armors is. When comparing armors for protection, I like to test against Seekers because they are the most common enemy you fight in the Mistlands. Something I noticed while recording this is that Seekers have 4 different attacks, so I'll be calculating the damage from their 4 hit combo. In the top left corner, I'm going to put the average damage per hit for this 4 hit combo. The reason I don't recommend Fenris is because of how delicate you are. If you've been paying attention, this Seeker is just absolutely destroying me. I can't even take one full rotation without worrying about death. I'm also using 3 health foods and still have almost been staggered. And if you're surrounded by these guys, getting staggered would be a death sentence. Now we're going to be testing the full padded with the root chest. This is my personal favorite armor combo because it makes you an absolute tank versus Seekers. The Seeker was treating me like an oversized chew toy in the Fenris armor, but now I can stand my ground and really get up in its face. I can stand through an entire 4 hit combo without worrying about dying or getting staggered or anything like that. I already made a video talking about this armor, but if you're still interested in it, I'll leave a link in the description. Last up, we have the mixed armor combo. This was actually a really surprising result for me. I didn't think it would do nearly as well as uh, the padded with the root chest, but it actually held its own pretty good and I didn't feel like I was in too much danger. And the results are gonna be in the top left corner now. And I think we might've just found the new, new best armor in the game. The mixed armor and padded root combo completely dominate Fenris whenever it comes to damage. But what's even more interesting is you only take three more damage with the mixed versus the padded root. I don't know guys, with this information I might be swapping to the mixed armor now. The seeker test isn't the end all be all to damage tests, but it's pretty indicative of what you're going to see in the Mistlands. 
these results are pretty surprising even to me, so I'm probably going to be testing this more in the future to see how it handles against other mobs. This is an honorable mention, Fenris Armor with the Root Chest. It isn't quite as good as the Mixed Armor, but it's still pretty respectable with an average damage per hit of 22.06. So to answer the title of this video, is Fenris Armor OP? I think the answer is no. I would even say that it feels kind of underwhelming. Is it the fastest armor? Yes, but not as much as I was led to believe. For how little protection it offers, I honestly wish it would give you even more movement speed. Nothing crazy, but an extra 5% would help me justify how much armor I'm missing out on. If you're looking for a good combination of protection but still want to be quick on your feet, then the mixed armor combo I showed in this video is probably the best option. All it is is just a padded and carpus helmet with a root chest and then the Fenris Greaves. Let me know what you think in the comments, and also, if there's anything else you want me to test, leave a comment, let me know. And as always guys, see you next time.